Hey guys, here we are. It's me and Georgia Peaches, Florida Princess. What are you doing? You're so bad. Anyways, like she's camera shy. I don't understand it, but whatever. So it's Mask Monday and Christmas is getting close. Who's ready? Yeah, not me. Um, I, I have, I've got things that I've been saving and putting in boxes, but I'm not even close to like packing stuff up and putting shipping labels on it and getting it to the post office and like, oh, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. So what are you going to do? Are you ready for all this? The whole Christmas thing? Ooh, you got your tree up? I got my tree up. I got some tinsel on the tree. That, that That's about how far I've got. Huh. She don't know what to make. She's like, what What the hell is the tree in the house for? I, I don't get the whole tree thing. So, yeah, I know. Mm. Anyways, guys, it's time to mask up. <sighs> Grab a mask. We'll be right back. What are you doing? What is this face thing? Okay, so today we have a mask from... R-A-E-L, Real Beauty, Real Beauty, it's a vitamin C, brighten and glow mask, vitamin C is real good if you have like blemishes, like I do, and um, let me see, it's a 10 minute, 10 minute, do we have to wash it off, leave on for 10 to 20 minutes, removing pet excess in the skin, hey, we like that, and um, this came from Becky at Becky's Empty Nest. Like I said, not the cutest name for a YouTube channel. Anyways, so y'all go check her out. But, uh, let's open this thing up. It feels like there's a lot of, you know, stuff in there. I still have so many masks <laughs> from, you know, when we, we used to all do the same mask, the, the Beauty Ninjas, we would all do the same mask every week and, um, you know, kind of critique, like, you know, how it worked for the different skin and, you know, who liked them and who didn't and etc. Um, yeah, there, there's definitely some left in there. And now, the opening of... The she mask. Okay, okay. I can see. I can see edges, but I can't seem to get to them. Eh. So, yeah, there's, um, yeah. What the hell? There it is. My <laughs> jeez. Bad thing about, like, when it's see-through, because... You can see the edge, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the thing that's, you know, on the top. I'm like, come on. Yahoo! Um, it does have a little bit of a scent. It's just a light, fresh kind of a scent going on. Whew. You got the nose unfolded? Of course not. Where's the nose? There we go. Get the nose unfolded. Ooh. Come on, get down there. All right. And all right. And of course, the chin is rolled up because, you know, why not? Can't tell which side it's rolled up on, but you can tell it's rolled up. So, this is wonderful. Ah, uh, there she goes. Had to get right into the mirror to get that done. So, there we go. Alright, and... Oh. Right there, you know, yeah, right there. Put on our, this mask. Woo! Okay, and we're going to go... 
10 minutes with our timer. Okay, this, um, <laughs> I did a review on that because I'm, I'm not real happy. Um, I forget how much I spent on it. I don't pay a lot of attention to that. You know, I, hopefully I get my value, but, uh, this was supposed to be a waterproof clock and timer, okay? And as a suction cup, you're supposed to be able to put it up in your shower so that, you know, you've got your timer right there in your shower, right? So I put it up. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. You know, um, you know, and then like, well, I didn't put it up and leave it, but I put it in and then I was going to take a shower. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to use this. Right. So <clears throat> I don't even have the water on or nothing. I haven't touched it. Nothing. It's probably been on the wall for an entire, I, I don't know, five minutes, you know, maybe less than 10, less than 10. Okay. Long, long enough to stick it up, take off my clothes, step in the shower, turn on the water, step in the shower. Right. So, um, it hits the ground. The whole face of it comes off. I'm like, are you fucking serious? You know, I haven't even used it yet and it's already busted. So I did manage to get the face back on, but, of course, now there's a bunch of crap underneath of the face, you know. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, doesn't look brand new anymore, does it? Is it? Yes, it is brand new. It's a brand new piece of junk, you know. Well, it's not a piece of junk, but it pissed me off because the main reason I wanted it was so that when I put a mask in my hair, I've got a timer, you know. Because some, you know how some of that stuff you have to rinse out after 10 minutes or you have to, you know whatever anyways you know I'm, i was going for the timer in the shower and <sighs> that ain't gonna work i'm not even gonna try to put it up because i'm afraid if it hits the ground again it'll you know officially break it and when the whole face came off of course you, all these buttons you couldn't see where the buttons were so you know like i said i did manage to press it back into place but evidently it's not like glued down and i am i'm just afraid it's only battery operated i'm afraid if it hits the ground from eye level you know a time or two it's gonna fall to pieces it's gonna break so yeah so much for that idea um on the other hand it is a cute little movable clock you know it's got um suction cup worthless but it's got like a little stand on it and it stands just really nicely, you know, so you can pick it up and put it wherever you need it for a timer or a clock. So, you know, I'm not saying it's useless, but it's not good for what I wanted it for. And now, of course, since it won't even, since the suction cup doesn't even say stick and the face came off of the front, now I'm questioning just how waterproof is it, you know? Like, seriously? It falls apart? So, how waterproof is it, really? So, yeah, I did. I gave them a, a very bad, you know, I said, hey, yeah, you know, first time I went to use it, it didn't stay up, it hit the ground, the front came off of it, you know, I can't use it for, I can use it, but I can't use it for what I, I purchased it for. Um, So, when you buy stuff... Like, it was from Amazon. I don't know. It was maybe, like, 15 or 20 bucks. And it is heavy. It's not... I mean, it's not, like, heavy. But it's not, like, just a little light thing. There's, there's a little weight to it. But, um, normally, I'm very happy with everything I get through Amazon. I think Amazon... If people get too many bad reviews, you know, Amazon gets onto them about it. Because they don't want... They don't want, you know, bullshit coming off of Amazon. And, you know, Amazon's pretty on top of their game. I've been really impressed with even as close as Christmas is coming. Like, I do not have Prime. <clears throat> um, I did the 30-day Prime thing once a long time ago so I could watch the movies. But that's about the only reason that I need Prime because 
most of the time, if you spend over 25 bucks, your shipping is free and it comes within a day or two anyways, you know? So how, how do you not spend 25 bucks, right? So, you know, yeah, I, I don't really need it for the free shipping or the expedient. I'll tell you what, the last thing that I ordered was, what did I freaking order? Oh, I got some earbuds that are on a Christmas special and um, some solar light pink flamingos. I cannot wait to put them up. They're so cute. Y'all know I love pink flamingos. It's like one of my favorite critters in the world is pink flamingos. Um, and anyway, so, uh, you know, I ordered that stuff. It, it was like 40 bucks, you know, it wasn't a big order, you know, but I'll tell you what now, it was here the next evening. I was like, I don't even have Prime, you know, and it was here that quick. Now, did I need any of it that quickly? No, I did not. I would have been happy if it took it, you know, a few days to get here. Cause yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do the, uh, the pink flamingos this weekend while I'm off, you know, so they've been sitting in the box for a couple of days now and I haven't had a chance to deal with the earbuds. So I haven't even opened them yet, you know, so yeah, it's kind of a waste for me to get it here done next day. But it was pretty cool. It was pretty impressive. Do you use Amazon? What do you think? I mean, I know a lot of people do online shopping, but, and it used to be eBay. I remember the first year that eBay came out. Yes, I am that old. Um, <laughs> like, I did all my Christmas shopping on eBay. Like, all of it. All of it. Whatever, anything anybody wanted, you could go on eBay and you could find that shit. And you just looked up the, um, the reviews, you know, the feedback. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I was ever really unhappy with anything on, uh, on eBay either. But, uh, you know, then Amazon came along and it's not like, uh, you know, eBay was like a bidding wars, you know, Amazon is like a store of everything, <laughs> Every, everything. You know, um, yeah. So there's that. So what do you what are you hoping for for Christmas? Like seriously, I'm I'm just hoping for you know. Well, I'm probably gonna have to work Christmas anyways. But it would be nice to have like a nice meal and a day to not have to worry about anything. You know. I'm, Watch my kid open up a few gifts, you know, um, you know, do my Christmas makeup, maybe do a video, you know, but just, just a laid back kind of a day with some coffee. That's with some good coffee. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. You know? <laughs> so like, is there a, an actual gift that you're hoping for? Um, you know, what, uh, what is what is it that you want Santa Claus to bring to you? Let's take a look now and see. Ooh, we have a minute and a half left. That's cool. We're only doing 10 minutes. We're only doing 10 minutes, so that's all right. Um, It feels good, though. I got to tell you, it's, I like a vitamin C mask because of all the spots. You know, the vitamin C is really, it's a very healing thing and it helps a lot with the spots because it helps to like heal the skin and the spots <clears throat> my opinion but spots are basically damaged skin you know it, that's that's what created the spot was some got damaged you know um it was either damaged from the get-go but there's something different you know it's not the same as the rest usually not even the same texture as the rest of your skin. So vitamin C helps to heal that. It also helps with, you know, the texture because if it's healing it and making the, the red kind of go away a little bit, then, you know, the, the texture is going to uh, definitely heal along with that. So, yeah. Ooh, we're we're going to hear it. Here it comes. Five, four, three, two, 
one, zero. Now that's some noise for you. Woo! And yes, it is 3.12 in the morning. Because, you know, anybody that doesn't know, I work at a gas station. I'm the graveyard shift person. I'm there all night. And so... When I'm off, I'm usually up most of the night. Now, I did just get up around midnight, and I'm going to try to be up because I need to, you know, go to the grocery store and do some some daylight things uh, today. But I do enjoy being up all night. Um, my laundromat is open all night, so I can go to the laundromat at night. Once I have my washing machine, you know, then I can stay up and do laundry at night. I can do my videos. and I mean, there's really not a whole lot... Except going to the grocery store and the post office. There's not a whole lot that uh, that you can do, that you have to do during the day that you can't do, you know, at night. So, let's rinse this off because I like to just rinse it off with some nice water. You know, try and get all the serums off of it. And then hang it to dry because I use it pretty regular. I've, I've been really, you know, I wasn't, I'm doing so good when I did that eight day stint of working. Lord have mercy. I mean, I ain't getting nothing done. But, um, you know, since I haven't been working eight days in a row, I've been a lot better about being able to get my skincare because I just, I have more energy when I get home from work and before work because I'm not, you know, five days into it as a matter of fact <laughs> uh the, the there's only one other person that works nice and he tried to get a hold of me last night wanting me to come in because you know he ate too much thanksgiving dinner must be nice i had to work thanksgiving you know so you're welcome for that and uh you know, he wanted feeling good, so could I please work for him? I'm <laughs> like, um, yeah, well, I actually didn't get the message until, uh, I don't know, maybe around midnight or later. Um, and in order to cover his shift, I would have had to have been there at 10, and it takes me a good three hours just to get ready. So, yeah, that, uh, that dog wasn't going to hunt, you know. And, uh, I did send him back a text and say, you know, geez, just woke up. I'm sorry, you know, but I, uh, you know, I hope he didn't, I hope he just ate too much and it wasn't like he ate something really, you know, that's making him sick. But my, uh, my experience with food making you sick is the more you move around, the quicker it's going to go through you, you know, or just be sick to your stomach and get it over with. Oh, have mercy. Speaking of being sick to your stomach, Thanksgiving Day, somebody pulled or that night, somebody pulled up to the uh, gas. No, Thanksgiving morning. Would have been Thanksgiving morning. I'm sorry. Thursday morning, um, probably around three, four, something like that. Somebody pulled up to a gas pump, at gas pump, and they must have just rushed their guts out. I went out to clean the parking lot, and that's when I came across it. And I, I'll tell you what, I never saw so much in one spot. It was, it almost makes me want to gag just thinking about it. It was a mountain. Like, the person probably got sick because there was so much in his stomach. Because, I mean, there was so much there that you're like, I don't think the stomach is big enough to hold all that, you know? So, basically, somebody ate until they just literally could not eat anymore. And then their body said, um, excuse me, but we need to get rid of this. So, yeah, thank you for that Thanksgiving Day, you know, gift, dude. Um, whew, you know, this feels really nice. I'm really happy with this. It feels really nice. So, I'm going to go and just, you know, enjoy 
the rest is just soaking in. I hope you guys all had a really good Thanksgiving. Looking forward to the whole Christmas thing. I haven't been asked to do any collabs yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I mean, I, I've i turned down a lot of collabs because I was working so much. But now that I'm back down to three, four days a week, I might, you know, I can get involved in something. So, anyways, until the next time, mask up Monday. And I hope you wake up dancing every single day. I know that was different, right? I'm totally off the wall. Totally off. <laughs> Bye-bye.